Okay, ladies and gents, this video might look like it's starting in the same way as the Wavy Hammer build, but I promise you, this is the hammer tutorial instead, alright? I'm gonna show you how I play the hammer. Um, after a lot of days of studying the Molten Edict and things like that, you know, the hammer's really grown on me. I think I've actually improved my playstyle with the hammer. Thank you to Lewis for all the tips. Thank you to Teo for also teaching me a few tips and tricks. We're going to head to the training grounds and I'm going to show you what the hammer can do. Alright, to start off with, you got to understand the basics of the hammer. And as always, we got to go into the training grounds to see the basics of the hammer and to see how they operate. Okay, because that's where you start off. That's where you always start off and, uh, you know, you go with that. Give me a second. Okay, so basically when you start off with the hammer, right, we're going to access the move list right now. The hammer is a very interesting weapon and it requires a bit of effort. Um, your light attacks are all your hammer strikes. Your right is your either slam. Um, while you're attacking, if you use your uh, heavy attack, okay, your heavy attack is called either slam, right? Um, when you're attacking with your light attacks, if you use your heavy attack before it hits, you end up with something called a prime strike. It deals bonus damage and stagger damage, but it will consume one ammo and some and some stamina. Okay, Mighty Landbreaker just happens to be the special that I'm using. There are several specials you can use with the hammer. Um, you can look at the individual builds for it, but there's Concussive Salvo, Mighty Landbreaker, Ironheart Landbreaker. It's up to you what you want to use. Me personally, I love using Mighty Landbreaker. Um, and we're going to go through the tips and tricks of using this a little later. But again, going back to the move list, you can actually reload after doing the damage of a strike to do an inline reload. It costs stamina, but honestly, it's a waste of time. Uh, you should actually just reload outside of that and that's about it now learning the combos is what's going to be important okay um and that's because there's certain things you got to understand about it light 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 heavy is your horizontal hammer okay this is a swing swing around round and round spin a rooney a the slam kind of thing lunging strikes is a you know overhead hits um it's, it's good for damaging the part of your choice, but it's fucking slow. Repeating uppercuts is your fastest combo and what you use 90% of the time. Um, and your hammer jump is something that you can use to cover some extra distance. It costs ammo. But what you really use it for is for the aerial strike to really um, knock somebody on the head. So how does that work? I'm just show you that first. And you can prime the strike as well, just so you know. Okay. All right. So when it comes to the hammer, first things first, reloading. You press Q, you get this. Let's let's use some ammo, right? Okay. You press Q, you get a little mini bar. You get it. If you fail, it takes longer to reload. Okay. I'll just show you that. Okay. If I press Q and I hit the green area, the reload is fast and smooth. You can reload while sprinting and things like that. So. You know, don't feel like you can't reload while sprinting. I do it all the time. There you go. While sprinting, reload. There you go. Okay? So you can you can position while also reloading. Now let's show you the combos. If I use nothing but my light attack with no additional button presses, I spin around and it ends there if you're only pressing light attack. You do not automatically do an Aether Slam. Okay? Let's just say that. Very important to understand. Now... Light attack with no button presses, no additional button presses, all right? After the last spin, if you press your heavy attack, you do an Aether Slam and your ammo is now special. That's called Aether Charged Ammo. When you slam down on a behemoth like that, your Aether Charged Ammo gives you much higher DPS, all right? Now, if you prime before every strike, as you can see, your damage is a lot higher, okay? How do you prime before every strike? 
Okay, so I initiate swing, heavy attack. Initiate swing, heavy attack. Initiate swing, heavy attack. And then heavy attack to finish off. That's called priming. When you prime before every swing, you end up dishing out more damage, more stagger damage and more core damage with that swing. Now the combo you should be using is, all right, if you press a directional button while initiating your attack, you end up doing your overhead strike. It's quite slow. It's strong, but slow. See? Slow. Now, what you don't, what you want is, when you're not pressing any buttons, initiate the attack, then press the uh, forward key and your light attacks, and you'll do your repeating uppercuts. It goes like this. One. Up. Up. Okay? You gotta get used to it, because that's the combo that is fastest, and also helps you initiate stagger a lot easier. Alright, one, button press, two, button press, prime, three. Now you may fail priming a few strikes, but don't let it upset you. It's just a key part of, you know, things. Like you like you will try to prime every strike, but sometimes you'll get a bit discombobulated. I'm not perfect. I know a lot of you may not be too, but I hope that this information helps you guys. What we're going to do right now is we're going to head straight back to Ramsgate, and then we're going to go into a hunt. So you guys can see all this information and all this stuff against an actual behemoth to to get yourself ready for that for that uh for that fun, you know. <laughs> Reply no comment these days on stream because keeps asking for it. Sometimes you gotta reply to your YouTube comments, you know? Good people, good people in there. Now, let's let's go into a hunt right now. And I'm gonna show you how this works. Alright. We won't go, like, unlike for my normal test, we won't go anywhere too crazy. Uh, Sunstone is probably good enough. Okay, we'll just go private hunt. Um, now, there's some other stuff that I didn't show you in there, and that's because I'm probably planning to show you in the field. Um, don't like okay with concussive salvo a lot of the reason why a lot of people still use it is because it's really easy to interrupt the behemoth but you don't need it because your evasive movement and I'll show you that as soon as I get in just to show you an example your evasive movement can interrupt just fine so even if you're using mighty land breaker you can interrupt with that and this is something that I only learned to practice the more that I used um, the hammer now keep in mind on molten edict it doesn't interrupt <laughs> okay just so you know it only interrupts on the regular hammer even with mighty land breaker <coughs> excuse me Sorry, this text is actually for my mama. Um, just letting her know what I wanted for lunch. Okay, so you got um, before we go in there, I'm just gonna show you. If you press a heavy attack quickly twice, you can do that. All right, and if you stand still, it fires in front of you. All right, so it's very easy to do that, and you can. That's how you can interrupt behemoths. Okay, the Charog doesn't really have an interrupt, but you learn that over time. If we encounter a creature with interrupt, or actually, you might have seen me do that in some of my other. Uh, in, actually, if you go to my Wavy's Hammer um, video, you would have actually seen me do that. Oops. Now, you want to be very careful of your heavy attack because if you accidentally press it, um, you might end up uh, doing a long ass animation for the Mighty Land Breaker. But basically, you want to go to the Behemoth's Head, initiate your first combo, initiate your uppercuts, priming along the way. As you can see, it's very easy to get it into stagger. Alright, the hammer is just very strong for that. Activate your lantern buffs if needed, and just focus on the head. Unless you got a part you want to break. The reason why you don't want to do overhead swings that can... Although they deal great damage, they're slow. So, like, by the time the behemoth done that, you know, 
Also, when you start a fight, jump and use the Mighty Land Breaker like that. You will you will stop the animation because otherwise you have this long ass stupid animation to put it in the ground. You don't need to do that. All right. You can also a the jump and slam on the Behemoth's head if you if you can get the distance right. I tend not to use that move too much because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing with it, but it, it can work in your favor. So just to try it again, right? While you're sprinting toward a Behemoth heavy attack and then you know you can do something like that you know but i'm pretty bad at coordinating with that and with my bum mouse uh i try not to do that i go for very safe combos like i just do that right up front and personal and i just slam down okay so again to to show you we're gonna go to another behemoth and i'll and i'll go through the whole process this time i'm gonna talk about it the entire way through okay I'm gonna describe every action and take it really slow. Okay, I will usually draw. Ah, this one we can interrupt. I'll draw my hammer and jump to use the mighty land breaker. Then, as soon as the behemoth gets close, evasive, evasive movement by you know pressing the heavies. I will use this combo straight up. Okay. Now, if I don't have enough ammo, I use usually like at least reload but sometimes you don't have a chance so evasive jump again interrupt the behemoth sometimes if it's already down i may use the overhand strikes why because i can of course you should be using your uppercuts most of the time as you can see the damage is still wild on the uppercut so you don't have to worry about that but you know you're not fully constrained so don't panic too much like sometimes your thing will not hit that's okay you may run out of your mighty land breaker that's okay just jump give yourself a nice buff all right, reload as needed. Do your evasion to knock it down. One, two, and it, the hammer, once you get used to it, it's a very simple process. And it's such a strong weapon. You have no trouble just taking out a behemoth, all right? Now, now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna bother um, Describing every action and I also will not take it slow. I mean you're not gonna see much difference in speed But rather I'm, I'm not gonna like mentally work through every single action. All right So just gonna show you how it gets done. I see a scan first thing mighty land breaker reload already Up cut up cut Okay, got interrupted. That's okay. Up cut up cut Get down You can see how much stagger damage is coming out of this. Alright. And with the Shrike's Lantern, you can quite literally, like, enjoy huge, huge benefits and stagger lock most behemoths like that. You know, because your attack speed is fast enough. Assuming you're always priming, you know, you get a few good crits in and, and the behemoth is done. Alright, see? There you go. That's how... How you play the hammer, you focus on the behemoth's head, much like in Monster Hunter. Now you need to get a specific part, you probably want the axe instead, you know, so you can break that part and guarantee it. But you want to completely rip a fucking beastie to death, the hammer's your choice, man. Okay. Knock down. I haven't been picking up any of the cascade buffs here. I have it mostly because it just gives me some options at the higher levels, you know. But again, there you go. That's how you play the hammer. All right, ladies and gents. I hope this hammer tutorial was uh, effective for you guys. Um, I'll be posting it before the Wavy's hammer build, so I hope that you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like your people's champion. All right, and of course, if you want to keep my content running, you want to see more of your boy, uh, you want to feed your boy, you can drop me a tip by the link in the description of the video. Thank you very much if you decide to do that. Much love. I'll see you on the next video, okay? We got more to work on.